Good morning, everybody. You are currently listening to a tall girl's podcast hosted by a tall girl named India. I hope everyone is having a super fantabulosis day today. Fantabulosis, what the hell? <laughs> Anyways, it's like Brick City over here. Was I not complaining before about how I was suffocating in the heat? Was I not complaining about the heat wave, completely drenched in sweat, could not breathe? Was I not? Now I am freezing, wearing three layers, and waiting for the heat to come on. Like, I really was not expecting this. It feels like it's 40 degrees. It's atrocious, and quite frankly, I was not prepared. I don't think anyone was prepared. I think it's because... There's supposed to be some storm passing by. The other day, it was like a hurricane out there. The rain was coming down heavily. And of course, that happened when I had to go to school (laughs) all the way out in the city. So my bag is getting drenched. My socks are getting drenched. My hair is getting wet. It was just not a good experience. Then after that, it just got super, super cold. It was super windy and it felt like it was actually winter. I mean, fall is finally here. So yeah, happy fall, everybody. Just in case you didn't know, fall hit us up like September 22nd. What is that? Like three days ago, two days ago? But fall hit us up September 22nd at 9.04 p.m. And we're ready for tall girl fall. Are you ready for tall girl fall? Let me know. I think I'm kind of ready for tall girl fall. Okay, enough of me rambling. We are at our 10th episode, our 10th part of tall girl reacts to tall girl problems yes (laughs) i can't believe i literally even got this far in this series it's hilarious that i probably would have stopped like a long time ago but if you don't know what tall girl reacts to tall girl problems is what are you doing let me stop (laughs) tall girl reacts to tall girl problems is a series here on this podcast where i a tall girl react to tall girl problems on the interweb I let y'all know, are they real? Are they fake? Do we relate? Is it made by a short person sitting in their basement who has nothing to do with their lives and is super jealous that they aren't tall? And so forth and so on. <laughs> Before I get into this episode, make sure you are following me on my socials at A Tall Girls Podcast on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for almost daily tall girl content and updates on the latest episodes. And y'all yeah, feel free to message me, letting me know about this podcast, about your life, how tall you are, all that good stuff. I actually responded to a couple messages yesterday from some of you guys in a couple comments. So I try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Super, super busy life, but you guys are super, super important to me. So just know that I will get back to you. And I absolutely love reading all your messages and comments. All right, let us get into it. Your pajama pants are almost all too short. Oh my gosh. I literally had to stop wearing pajama pants when I was like eight years old that young i don't know but i at some point in my youth i had to stop wearing pajama pants oh my gosh i used to especially wear them during the holiday season you know it gives like holiday vibes the weather is getting the weather outside is frightful or whatever (laughs) and you'll just want to cover up so you wear longer pajamas longer pants longer shirts yada 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 and the objective is to cover your skin and to be warm however they just did not do that for me okay so like on christmas on christmas i would open every christmas i would open presents and my parents like take pictures so like the literal poster child i was i would stand up with each gift after opening each present i would stand up that and then smile at the camera like cheese holding up like a boot or whatever (laughs) whatever i got and i will never forget (laughs) oh i will never forget this is terrible i got a new phone right and i took it out of the box yada 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 you know the vibe i stand up for the picture and in the photo i have on these pink these super light 
pink pajama pants on with light blue butterflies all over and a glittery blue drawstring and it was right below my knees they were so short and i think i got them the year before so a whole year and i outgrew these pants that is embarrassing okay I honestly it's not it's not embarrassing we're not gonna say that anymore it's not embarrassing you know what was embarrassing the fact that they couldn't even make pajama pants for tall kids i don't find that embarrassing that i was too tall for the pants the pants were just too short for me yes we gotta have that mindset going forward but it just did not look right it looked terrible how did i even survive in that it's it, it gets cold around christmas time here I don't even think I had those knee-high socks or even those mid-calf high socks to protect the rest of the legs that was just out in the cold. So that is so not a good thing. It was not a good experience. Do you do you have that same problem? Did you have you? Had you? Have that same problem with pajama pants? It just got to the point where I had to stop wearing them. I literally wear shorts now and that's not a vibe because it's cold. I want to cover up my, you know, legs, but if you're going to, if the pajama pants are going to be as short as shorts, you might as well just wear shorts because shorts are meant to look short and they look correct because they're not supposed to reach your ankle. The pajama pants are supposed to reach your ankle. So pajama pants will actually haunt me forever so yes definitely definitely a tall girl problem and if you know where to find pajama pants for tall girls let me know and i will probably try it out and do a whole episode do a whole review on it because you don't really see tall girl pajama pants out there like that it's time for me to start doing my research all right (laughs) next one hugs usually consist of someone's face in your boobs Hmm. I'm not going to cap y'all. Their face is in my stomach. (laughs) Is that bad? Their face is actually lower than my boobs. Oh my gosh. How tall are y'all friends? Your friends can't be that much shorter than you if their face is just in your boobs. If that's the case. Must be nice. (laughs) I don't know. Like if my friends or some younger family members, if they came up to hug me or if I hugged them, they would reach, their face would be in my stomach. Like there would be a good centimeter or two between their head and my boobs. And it feels so weird because they are experiencing a full body hug, but the top half of my body just feels so bare, so cold, so alone. That that sounds a little sad but it kind of is and it's so true the tall girlies out there understand this struggle i don't even remember the last time i got a nice warm hug like a nice warm full body hug and felt safe like some part of my top half whether it's the entire half of my top half or like my neck and head and all that it's just it's out there it's out there left alone in the dust But I mean, it's the reality of being tall. So I definitely think that that's a tall girl problem too. Next one, you had to get a kitchen height sink installed in your bathroom so you don't have to lean over as much when you wash your hands. All right, people. No one talks about this enough. Nobody, no one talks about this enough the sinks the counters even the dressers they are so friggin' low for us they are so low and let's say i'm chopping up some vegetables or i'm washing the dishes or washing my hands if we're back to the bathroom sinks it's i stand horribly I shift my weight onto one hip and then 
I lean my hips forward and then I slouch and then I lean over just to do what I have to do. And sometimes it would be for extended periods of time. So no wonder I have lateral and anterior pelvic tilt and I had a slouching problem. It's horrible. And it's not even just like in homes. It's also in public areas. Like I went to the mall the other day and I had to use the bathroom. I went to the mall yesterday. This literally happened yesterday. And I had a, um, I had a bag, but you know how you don't really like putting the bags down on the floor in the restrooms because the floor is like nasty and it's filled with everybody's feces, but then you don't like to put it on the sink next to you because it's super wet and it'll just drench the bag. So I had the bag on my wrist and you know how you try to put it like up on your wrist so you can wash your hands and stuff like that. So I'm going to the sink. I have the bag on my wrist and I had to lean forward to use the sink because the sink was low. This was like below my hips, my waist low. Like, oh my gosh, I even filmed this reel when I was at a hotel bathroom in Aruba where I could, I was easily able to sit on the sink. By the way, follow me on Instagram. You should totally watch that video because that, it felt like that sink. It was that low, like below my butt low. <laughs> and I was trying to wash my hands and the bag kept moving forward. That's how angled downward it was. The bag kept moving forward and trying to like get into this water. And I'm just like, stop. Oh my gosh. But even in public areas, these things are really, really low. And it's so funny because at the same time that I was washing my hands, there was another older lady that came out waddling in the stall. Oh my God. And she was so short and she looked like she was having a hard time washing her hands because it was too tall for her. And I'm like, what is going on here? This sink is too tall for this old lady who... She had to be less than half my size. Like, that's how short she was. And you have it too tall for this one lady over here who's struggling to wash her hands. And then it's too short for me. My bag is falling off. I'm having a hard time. I'm struggling, bending over, trying to squat, all that stuff, trying to wash my hands. It's terrible. You know, you know what I'm thinking? They need to have, like, you know... Do you know the story of Goldilocks? Goldilocks, they had something for the dad, something for the mom, and something for the kids. So like the porridge, for example, too cold, that was for the dad. The porridge, too hot, was for the mom. And the porridge was just right for the kid. Or you had the chair that was too high for the dad, too low, um, that was for the mom. And the chair that was just right. That was for the child. This is from Goldilocks' perspective. It's too high for Goldilocks, too low for Goldilocks, but it's just right for the parents. But they need to have something like that with sinks. They have to have the sinks for the tall people. That's too high for the average and the short people. They need to have a sink for the average high people. That's just right for the average high people, but too low for the tall people, but too high for the short people. And they just need to have sinks for the short people. You know, that fits, that caters to them, but it's too short for everybody else. I think that's what needs to start happening in public bathrooms. And if that idea comes on Shark Tank, I would not be surprised because that's a good idea. It really is. But what were we going off of? Oh, yes. The sinks at home. But... I need to update you guys on the pelvic tilts and stuff like that. I'll probably do an episode on that when I find out my new height. I'm trying to get a doctor's appointment. I had to go to a new doctor because my old doctor retired. I literally went to her once and she retired. But I'm trying hard to get an appointment. They like flaked on me. So we just, we just got to figure it out. But I think installing a new sink. First of all, kitchen... Well, kitchen height sinks aren't that bad because the kitchen height sink that I have is taller, is higher up than the bathroom sink, even though it's still kind of pretty low. But I just think installing a new sink in general is a little expensive. It's a little too much, but it is expensive being tall. Like the clothes, the extra fabric costs like an extra, what, 
10 20 dollars installing these sinks probably having to get like new beds extra long mattresses they i don't even know they have extra long mattresses but i should really get one of those because i'm tired of my feet hanging out this bed but it's bonkers i agree though that sinks and counters and dressers and all that stuff they are a problem i get that and i understand that these people are in apartments or whatever are trying to cater to the standard height but they need to have more options for us tall girls you know they could have like a couple apartments that they just show particularly to tell people like yeah like everything in here is the same as the other apartments it's just that the sink is higher up and the bathroom sink is higher up and that i feel like tall people would appreciate that would that even be a market would that even sell i don't even think in new york that that would sell because there not a lot of people here in new york are tall but yeah i think that the whole sink situation is definitely definitely a tall girl problem all right i think i am going to end this part here thank you so so much for making it this far and listening to me ramble and complain about all these tall girl things i appreciate it and i appreciate you as always feel free to follow me on my socials at a tall girls podcast on instagram tiktok and pinterest you can all always hit me up anytime anywhere (laughs) that sounds so weird but yeah i really do like reading messages from you guys it's nice to know that you know i'm not the only person struggling with these tall girl problems you know we like to have a little bit of relatability here um also feel free to leave a review and let me know how tall you are in that review let the world know how tall you are and let us know what you think about this podcast is it chill is it lit has it helped you is it crusty you know what i mean you know all feedback is good feedback for me everything will be linked below in the description box so it's super easy for you to have access to and super excited to start this tall girl fall with you guys it's the last part of this year so let's make it a good one and you know just feel really good about our heights and really happy to be tall or at least start trying to do that but anyways i will catch you in the next one good night and goodbye